What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're gonna to be working inside this vehicle and we're gonna be adding a module that is gonna allow you to control your 360 cameras anytime you want. Follow along and figure out how to access this and make your truck able to watch the cameras anytime you want. Let's do it. everybody thanks so much for coming back tonight watching us what we do with these super duties this is a fun one that I think all you guys are gonna like especially if you have the 360 camera option on your truck now this is gonna allow you to take control of your cameras anytime the vehicle is moving if you put your turn signal on the left camera comes on and vice versa with the right camera I'm gonna be staying inside the truck we're gonna take all of this apart the first thing we're gonna do is pop this speaker out there's a couple of clips underneath here and two seven mil bolts underneath that is going to allow us to take this off which is going to allow us to take this off so that we can get behind here so without further ado here we go all right so the first thing we're going to do is access the speaker and it is kind of tight uh, you can use some uh, pocket screwdriver is how I popped mine up when I had to take my panel off. Okay, this one usually can pop the back out. It is tight. There we go. And there we go. So basically, just a speaker cover once you get it off. We're gonna put that aside. And again, we got two seven milli bolts right up in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. Seven milli screws out and then we are gonna just lift up this is just gonna hinge and get a piece there it's hard to get my hands underneath it and I'm just gonna slide my thumb over and pop that out of place and you will have one electrical connector under here just like that I'm gonna set that out of the way Again, we got two seven milli bolts right here. Now the module that we are going after is called the IPMB, the Image Processing Module B, and that is what you're looking at right there. So you guys see this kind of has a little bend right here. I'm gonna just give it a little bend and I'm gonna pull forward to disengage these plastic clips all around. Now, right now I am doing this with the truck running because it is absolutely hot as damnation right now. But we are going to start to disconnect some of these modules to gain access to this front interface display control module. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect some of these connectors. They're no big deal to disconnect. I don't want to disconnect anything because I still have the truck running. So I'm going to disconnect that and disconnect this. And for the sake of argument, I'm going to just leave these connected and I'm going to, oh, I'll just do it right now. I'll just shut the truck off. Let me disconnect this one. Okay. This one's the same thing. I'm gonna take this and just go just like this, okay? I'm just gonna get it out of the way. Okay, so now we have seven millis holding the radio faceplate on. 
or the front display interface control. There are six of these seven milli screws holding it in. Little tricky bolts here. Should have probably got a magnet. Here's we got this bottom one. Okay, what I'm probably gonna try to do is pull this out and let this bolt just sit in that hole and grab it. Okay, here is our faceplate, our radio, our front display interface control module. This is what we're gonna be working with, folks. All right, and the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove this connector right here. You wanna depress this button in the middle and simultaneously work that latch forward. You guys can see that push and pull right out. Okay, so one of the connectors that you get in the kit is this T-harness and you are going to plug this into the back of the A-pin and the same lever action. All right, so we actually disconnected these connectors here so I could actually take this and hold this in my hand better. This was really kind of a butt to get reseated, but make sure you push firmly all the way down, but I finally got it latched securely like it's supposed to be. All right, the right con side connector on this IPMB, you got this connector, this connector, and this one all the way over to the right. There is a button that you have to depress, and yes, you can do it without taking the IPMB out, um, but here's the new one. This is going to be our inline, what we're hooking our factory harness up to. So what I'm gonna do is kind of angle this up and I'm going to simply put this in the exact same location that the old one came out of, right, right there. Give it a little tug, it's not popping off. And then I am going to plug the factory one right into here. Okay, you guys see that? Clipped it in. Now there is a lot of room down here, so I'm just gonna see how I'm gonna just route that. Oops, that actually popped out. Let's make sure I'm in all the way. There we go, now I heard the snap from the connector and it is not coming off now. Okay, to the next step where we're gonna hook up some more wiring. So we got that on and secured. The next part we're gonna wanna do is hook the factory APIM harness into that said connector. We also have this little eight pin connector. All right, I finally got it to connect but we have a little eight pin connector that is supposed to go into the nav TV. Again, this is all in the instructions. I'm just going over this with you guys, how I'm doing it. Uh, the last part of this install is the nav TV box or interface. Got that seated all the way in. So now we are going to do two things. We need to situate all of this in a manner that is going to be congruent with OE and stock. I like that. It does have a lot of room back here, so don't fret you guys. But we're going to go ahead and plug that back in. And plug in the sat just reversing the removal process okay and I'm gonna start all these seven millis 
Okay, tight seven milli tightening. All right, guys. So the last step we're gonna have to do after installing the NAV TV, we've reinstalled everything. You guys saw how we took it apart. It goes back the exact same way. We are gonna go down to address 7 David 00601. Now, the instructions say, if you have a 0246A8 Apple, Charlie, or an E, leave it alone, nothing has to be done. If you have a 13579 Boy, David, or Frank, change the first digit by deducting one. So that means we are going to have to put an A, and then we're gonna have to hit right. Okay, we just hit right, and we're booting back up. And let's check. I'm gonna hit the turn signal. What? Right turn signal. What? That is awesome. Way cool. I guess let's take this for a rip and see the camera operation when we're driving. All right, we're rolling. I'm right hand turning it, folks. Check that out.